It's no news that cars like Audi, General Motors, Ford, Mercedes and other popular automakers are currently competing with Tesla. But who will take the EV throne? While these companies are currently thriving, one company stands taller than the Burj Khalifa. But you don't need to travel to Dubai to see for yourself, you can just take my word for it. You've probably heard the name. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Lucid! This is a company run by former chief engineer on the Tesla Model S. Crazy, right? Lucid CEO Peter Rawlinson is following his former boss Elon Musk's playbook with regards to production, a few technology, dealerships and service. And that's not even the end of it. Now, let's dash into it. What is Lucid Air? What do you say we hit you with some Lucid Air knowledge? Yeah. Just a little refresher for those that are hearing the name for the first time. It's basically a startup automaker that specializes in EVs just like Tesla. While many EV makers seem to pop out of nowhere and fade off like LeBron's hairline on Game 4 of the finals, you never want to be that far back. But no need to worry, Lucid Air seems to be going beyond the norm. Which brings us to one important question you're probably asking yourself right now. What really makes Lucid Air different? I'm guessing it's the bevy of automotive experts in its ranks and a vault of billions of dollars to play around with, but not like a spoiled rich kid. Battery efficiency. The Lucid Air delivers 451 to 520 miles of range from its 118 to 112 kilowatt batteries, with a 92 kilowatt battery pack coming later to offer 400 miles of range. A combined EPA rating ranging from 111 to 131 MPGE makes the Lucid Air one of the most efficient large electric sedan in America. Tesla's going to be mad at that. Of course, it beats out the Tesla Model S's 96 to 120 MPGE, a key selling point for it, and every other EV on the market. According to Rawlingson, the Lucid Air will serve as the launch pad for a variety of upcoming all-electric cars, including the SUV which will go into production in early 2023, and more reasonably priced cars later on. The Air, which is the company's flagship luxury sedan, made its debut. The first is the $169,000 Dream Edition, which has a 520 mile range. The automaker intends to release less expensive versions in the future and is also working on an SUV called the Gravity. Seems these guys have a thing for nature. According to sources, the air is everything that Tesla's Model S isn't. Just like you have with your partner and your crush. <laughs> Just kidding. It has 115 miles more range and a different take on a minimalist interior. As a result, many people thought the vehicle and the company were strong contenders. Take that Tesla folks, in your face! I know everyone is curious, so let's talk about the pricing of these bad boy EVs. For starters, Lucid intends to sell the Air's Dream Edition, a high-end model for $169,000. Now that's insane! Without including Tesla's $10,000 premium software upgrade, Model S sedan prices range from $80,000, and that's only for the base model. But let's not forget the most expensive Play Plus model. It only cost around, let's say, $140,000? That's chump change, right? By 2022, Lucid plans to directly compete with various Tesla models by selling a version of the Air starting at $77,400. If that's not biting someone's style, I don't know what is. Until Lucid's first two vehicles hit the market, it's uncertain how low the company's prices could fall. They better make it affordable if they ever plan to go this far in the industry. According to the CEO, the company's upcoming vehicle platform would serve as the foundation for less expensive vehicles priced between $40,000 and $45,000. But he doubts that the business would ever sell a car under $25,000 as Musk claimed Tesla plans to accomplish. Damn, Lucid! You really want to do me like that? I was rooting for you, man. You better make sure them bad boys are affordable. Anyways, quoting Rawlinson, Do we genuinely produce a $25,000 automobile like Tesla is planning to do with its Model 2 in the longer and broader timescale? In my opinion, as a firm, it will be seven or eight years before we can even consider something like that. And that's a hefty task. <sighs> Along with Rivian, Lucid is widely regarded as Tesla's most promising competitor. 
Without the use of traditional advertising, Tesla has become one of the world's most well-known automotive brands. Instead, it has generated buzz and attention through high-profile events, unconventional social media engagement, Tesla online forums and owners clubs, and Musk's near-constant interaction with fans and shareholders. Musk, for example, has a Twitter following of approximately 50 billion people. Scratch that. Musk owns Twitter. My guy can generate buzz for his cars just by tweeting about it. Whew. Talk about big boy moves. Lucid, on the other hand, ran a national television campaign for the air from December 25th to the end of January to raise awareness of the company and vehicle. According to Rawlinson, such a campaign was not necessarily in Lucid's plans until the coronavirus pandemic forced the company to cancel several events last year. Let's talk about looks and performance between these rivals. All right, in as much as you'd want the two selling points in one car, you can't eat your cake and have it too. You've got to go with one. Additionally, the Lucid Air takes design cues from Formula One aerodynamic technology to reduce drag and even produce negative drag. Reviewers also called out the sedan's interior as blazing its own trail, in contrast with Tesla's devotion to minimalism. One area where Lucid fell behind Tesla was speed. The Lucid Air's 800 horsepower iteration reached a top quarter mile speed of 103.1 miles per hour, which is faster than every EV on the market. Same for the Tesla Model S Plaid and the Porsche Taycan Turbo S. But hold your horses, gentlemen. The Lucid Air Dream P could be coming for them. Gives me the John Wick vibe. Lucid versus Tesla? The battle for EV dominance is just beginning. Lucid CEO, CTO Peter Rawlinson was previously chief vehicle engineer for Tesla and was unable to influence the design of the Model S. To be fair, he tried, but things just didn't work out as planned. Motor Trend reported that he wanted a new Lucid Air to play upon the strengths of its compact powertrain which resulted in a typical sedan with luxury interior proportions and small exterior footprint. In simple terms, the interior gives you goosebumps while the exterior is just bleh. With this personal connection between Lucid and Tesla, like Thor and Hulk, we're bound to see some crazy competition between the two EV-making giants in the coming years. And we are all for it. Just get your wallets and popcorn ready. The EV Charging According to Rawlinson, Lucid currently has no plans to build and operate charging networks like Tesla has done with its superchargers. Quoting him again, he said, Do we want to have the capital burning of a fast charging network? No, we can't go asset light in that. That's where we can save money. Instead of developing its own vehicle charging infrastructure, you know what they did? The company teamed up with Electrify America, a company owned by Volkswagen. Interestingly, the company they partnered with anticipates having 800 total charging station sites with around 3,500 chargers by the end of this year. And that's pretty impressive for a company that is just starting out, if you ask me. Meanwhile, according to its website, Tesla presently runs more than 20,000 superchargers throughout the world. Like Tesla, Lucid claims to give users home charging equipment. Self-driving tech if you've ever seen a driver sleeping in a moving Tesla, don't blame it on alcohol, blame it on this feature. Self-driving is one of the hallmarks of EVs. This technology undoubtedly is one yardstick we use in measuring how good an EV is, and apparently is how we measure how reckless humans can be. Elon Musk has infamously referred to the development of LiDAR, or light-ranging and detection devices, as a fool's errand. Trust me, we know why that is, Elon. We know. In order to provide onboard computer systems with a live 3D map of the area around the vehicle, the sensors use pulsed lasers. Many drivers working on autonomous systems think LiDAR is essential to make cars completely driverless. Radar is one of the many onboard cameras and sensors that Tesla's driver assist systems and long-awaited self-driving features rely on in place of LiDAR. That decision, in Rawlinson's opinion, was a mistake. Do we believe that LiDAR should be included in the autonomous vehicle sensor suite? We do, Rawlinson replied. According to Lucid, the Air Sedan, which was postponed starting the spring to the second half of this year, would use LiDAR in its sensor suite for advanced driver assist systems. The company expects the technology to set a new benchmark for the industry. 
Tesla now charges $10,000 for a high-end, sophisticated automated driving system for its cars, with ambitions to introduce a subscription service as well. Who pays $10,000 to sit in a car that drives itself? Despite being billed as full self-driving, the system's features prevent a genuinely hands-free, unattended and driverless ride. FSD, on the other hand, makes more Tesla Autopilot features available for their customers. This tech consists of Smart Summon, automatic lane switching and smart navigation. With Smart Summon, a driver can use their phone as a remote control to summon their vehicle out of a parking space. That's insane! Tesla vehicles lack a robust driver monitoring system, capable of detecting whether a driver is operating their systems responsibly or not. Lucid has promised to include a driver monitoring system in its vehicles to ensure that drivers are using their advanced automated driving systems as directed, staying alert to the road and their surroundings, and being prepared to manually steer at any time. Of course, this would only make sense when you realize how people binge movies, eat, or sleep when driving. Oh, Woosa, Woosa, I need to see my shrink again. Now we all want to know which is the fastest. Lucid Air is faster than Tesla on average. The Tesla Model S Plaid, on the other hand, has a faster top speed and acceleration than any Lucid Air model. Just think of it as a race between Flash and Reverse Flash. They are both fast. Except for one Tesla, all Lucid Air models have a faster top speed. Lucid Air models accelerate faster on average. Some Tesla models, however, reach 0 to 60 miles per hour faster than some Lucid Air models. The Tesla Model S Plaid is the only Tesla model with a faster top speed than any Lucid Air model. At the end of it all, it won't be fair if we juxtapose the two EVs on the base of speed, pricing, self-driving tech and overall performance. Rather than focusing on these different yardsticks, let's make it a win-win by looking at the brighter side of things. But what do I mean? Well, for starters, both automakers provide premium and efficient EVs. That should count for something, right? I mean, when it boils down to their similarities, it's safe to say that they're both trying to save the world in their own ways. And they both have almost the same mission, to reduce carbon footprint. But I don't know what's crazier, watching both of these EVs battle out to the death, or you clicking this video right here. So what are you doing? Click this video right here. Click it.